Hi guys, I want to make short overview and share my thoughts about Asus ZenBook Pro 2. I'm using this device for over one month. I wanted to try OLED screen and also to see if this sc second screen would be useful for my work and daily tasks. First of all, let's talk about um, specs. My unit has Core i9. 9980HK 8 core CPU, 32 GB of RAM, 1 TB NVMe SSD, and NVIDIA RTX 2060 Max Q GPU. Now let's see what kind of ports do we have. On uh, left hand side, we have Parallel type power connector port, HDMI port, one USB. On the right hand side, we have one more USB, combo audio headphone jack, and one Thunderbolt 3 port. Speakers are located uh, at the bottom, uh, side firing. And the uh, sound quality is uh, quite decent, more than, better than I expected. So laptop uh, takes air from the bottom, you can see the vents, and it exhausts uh, hot air with the side vents, right hand side and uh, left hand side here. Uh, weight of the unit is 2.5 kg, it is quite heavy, uh, but it has a very solid and premium build quality. Uh, footprint is small and all the space is used optimally. Battery is 70 watt hour. Um, if you have a battery saver enabled, it can last for 6 hours of video playback or 3-4 hours of everyday tasks like web surfing. Charger is uh, 230 watts and weight is 650 grams. Whenever you open the screen, because of the ergo hinge, back side of the laptop is elevated <coughs> for better airflow and uh, also to make uh, uh, angle of the second screen a little bit better for visibility. As you can see, keyboard is shifted downwards, and on the right hand side we have touchpad. If you will push upper right corner, uh, it will transform into a, a numpad. I like this position of the keyboard, as it is more similar what we use on uh, desktop PCs. And before getting this laptop, I used to have Acer. Triton 700, which also has shifted keyboard. Keys itself are quite nice, and uh, it has a 1.4 millimeters of travel. Now let's talk about uh, screens. The main screen is gorgeous OLED HDR capable panel which is Phantom well dated for accurate color reproduction. Uh, screen pad is IPS panel. Because of the technological difference you can always appreciate all the panel supremacy over IPS type panel. It's right in front of your eyes all the time actually yeah and you can compare them always. Now I want to share how I use second screen. I work on HVAC project, it is uh, heating, ventilation and air conditioning. Um, I'm using AutoCAD and uh, uh, I'm making calculations uh, in Excel and I have an Excel spreadsheet open at the bottom and AutoCAD opened on the upper screen. 
in general use case because of the looking angle second screen is not very useful you have to bend over it or um, i think a better solution will be uh, to use a laptop stand put, to put the laptop uh, in this position for better visibility of a second screen now now let's uh, run some benchmarks and see uh, what kind of performance can we get. I will put it in uh, performance mode. And uh, let's start with the uh, CPU Z. So laptop is running in uh, stock mode. Uh, in the future I want to do undervolting and uh, I think it will improve scores and uh, temperatures. Let's uh, see what kind of scores uh, I will get after undervolt. But this time I'm uh, testing in stock basically how it comes from the factory. I, I just put it in uh, performance mode as you saw and uh, it's interesting what kind of scores can we get. So next one um, will be sign bench. We got uh, 1467. Let's run in single core. Now I will run Signbench R20. This is the score. Now we're Let's run Geekbench. This is a version five point three point one. Let's run. CPU benchmark. Finally, let's run Corona benchmark. To watch HDR videos, we should go to display settings and switch on HDR mode. Okay, like this. And now I will demonstrate some HDR videos. Uh, I will switch off second screen. So on the screen, uh, individual pixels are lead, and um, 
black is completely switched off so you can see a big contrast and this is exactly what you need for proper HDR experience I want to show you one scene where I can demonstrate HDR capabilities of this um, OLED panel so here you can see a big uh, contrast difference between this inky really deep blacks and uh, glowing light of this spiral all the technology is capable of this because of ability to emit the light in with individual pixels it's not backlit panel just individual pixels are lit overall pretty solid device with a good cpu performance uh, very nice contrasty OLED HDR capable screen uh, second screen is uh, like a bonus the device is very nicely built uh, battery life uh, is average um, speaker quality is good keyboard is also nice to type on uh, I will uh, do some more benchmarks I will run you know, some games so definitely subscribe for that if you are interested in to see thank you for watching like the video if you like it and hope to see you in new videos bye guys